for the area, I fell in love with the area because it's beautiful, right by the sea and in the mountains. And I also have a, a great passion for mountain walking and, and eventually got into climbing as well. So then I was hooked and I couldn't leave. So it's one of those places where you come to, you arrive, and then you just can't leave because it's so beautiful. I think you'll find it's a particularly friendly place to be and uh, I take great pride in that. Open days tend to give you a feel for what the university is actually like. Um, so I went to a couple of open days before I chose my degree and some, some institutions or places that I thought were going to be my first choice then fell down the ladder when I went and actually spoke to people and saw what they do. Um, and that's the reason I came to Bangor when I got here. Everyone was so friendly and accommodating that it just had to become my first choice. It's fantastic. There's a lot to do here. If you're doing more outdoors, uh, you can go and do your walking, this, that and the other. Uh, and if you like sport, obviously the Sports Clubs and Society, there's loads to do up here. On open days, uh, myself and Ollie give the a sort of student guide presentation. So this is our fourth year here in Bangor. And then we'll do sort of lab tours, and give a, a few, an idea of what sort of experiments you can do in some of the labs throughout your degree. You get a good feel of the department. Um, the kind of environment that you're going to be working in yeah. gives you a good feel for the city itself. Here, it was mainly because I wanted to do a research project at the end of it. Uh, majority of courses do things like a dissertation, but sports science allows you to actually get involved and do your own testing in different bits and pieces in that kind of area. And also gives us access to doing different sports coaching courses and improve our chances of getting a good job at the end of it. The outdoor activities basically, once again, gives you hands-on like vocational experience in, in the outdoor industry. And of course, that's quite a big part of you know, my social life uh, and sort of where I want to tailor my uh, sort of academic career towards as well. We're very, very keen here at Bangor that the, the people who do the teaching in, in our school are our research leaders. So they're the ones actually doing the good research on the front line. You get a lot of practical experience uh, in the outdoors and uh, you get to relate everything that you learn in lectures to that environment as well, which I thought was a really good and really strong part of the course. I enjoy the closeness that my class had together. Just the feel in the classroom was very one-on-one um, -on -one and close, so you got a lot of attention as a student as well. It's been brilliant. Like, you make so many friends. It's sad to leave, but it's such an achievement. It's fantastic. It's, it's all your hard work has now finally come to uh, come to the end, and you're getting awarded now with your master. So it's pretty it's pretty crazy to be able to call yourself a master. There's the beach, the scenery, Snowden. So it's basically all you could ever want. It's like a little bit of paradise. At, at the highlights, I think uh, I think just the general environment around the department. Uh, I think we were quite lucky because the group of uh, the group of students, the crack was just unbelievable between us. It was just it's a good love. Yeah, it's it's hard work, but a good love. I'm hoping to either become a PE teacher or join the RAF and be a physiotherapist. My favourite thing about the school itself is probably uh, the accessibility and the friendliness of all the staff. So if I've got a problem I can just wander up these stairs and knock on someone's door. I don't have to worry about key cards or you know, booking meetings. If someone's got a quick five minutes, that's fine. If you bring a packet of biscuits as well, people are usually uh, uh, quite happy to see you.